The uh, wound care patient of ours since dating back to early March, correct, of this March year? March 29th. March 29th, you know the date. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this particular leg was just a leg that we're just trying to keep from preventing uh, to reach to that state uh, at this point. Uh, this is this, the, the most severe leg that he has actually struggled with for since March 29th. The wounds were at its biggest, were almost wrapped around the entire circumference of his leg. Um, was that in Luxor you used to talk yeah. for preventative? As well, so yes. it was used for preventative. Yes, in Luxor we use as a preventative uh, as well, and also he's had such a benefit of being able to leave these dressings, are we up to seven weeks, I mean uh, seven days, correct? No, less, this is the fifth week. Okay, but uh, once, a week. How, once a week. So we have actually moved him out to once a week dressing changes. Uh, before his prior use, he was using your regular foam dressings mm -hmm. and he had been using uh, alginates with the foam dressings and then also he was having to secure the outside with Curlex and ABD pads just because of the large amount of drainage. So once we were able to start him on a Luxtra, the first few dressings we we changed every other day but then usually by the fourth dressing I believe did we have you moved out to about four every four days? Okay through Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for Several, couple months. through, okay, and then we got you out. But can you tell me when when we got you out to Lustra, were you um, drier? Was it more comfortable? It seemed to keep the drainage from uh, from the skin, mm -hmm. which the drainage irritated had irritated my skin. You also uh, can you describe if you had a decrease in pain? I had less uh, burning and stinging mm -hmm. because of the uh, absorption of the drainage on the, the luxury. Mm -hmm. And with made the, considerable difference. A considerable difference. Okay. Uh, did you experience nights where you weren't sleeping because of the pain prior to Luxtra? There were nights I didn't before. Mm -hmm. There were nights that kept me awake off and on during the night, several nights. Okay, so you can see the slough that's collected on the dressing of the well. It's also my choice for uh, my favorite uh, dressing to utilize after placing a skin graft. The reason placing a skin graft is we like to let our patients go out seven days with a skin graft. Mm -hmm. So when we utilize a Luxtra, the patient remains comfortable. And in my opinion, just clinically what I see is the skin graft just has a better opportunity of uh, adhering to the skin tissue um, for the most part. Now you've been off to your trip to Dallas, so you have been seven days with this one, this particular dressing? Yes. Okay. This was done last Wednesday of last week. So okay, so... Seven days. He is having some other testing done in a different city, not for his leg issues, no, it's from, but from the neck. The neck, but um, what else do we need? Uh, so these wounds basically started here, went all the way around to the back side of the leg back in March, and now when did we basically heal out? It's been a, about a month that we healed right. out all the back ones. Right. And completely, uh, healed. completely healed. New skin. Yeah, new skin. I mean, these were all open. You can see where the scarring is. This was a full thickness wound. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. And full we thickness. And we're back to new skin. Yes, we're back to new skin. And that was after we tried different types of treatments. We actually started the Unluxtra. Was it back in... Um, September? No. no, no. <laughs> I don't remember. Maybe. I think we started in Luxra. I have to. I'll have to edit that. But I believe in Luxra for you was started in November because I didn't even have in Luxra here till November. 
I don't think so, no. And you've made very little progress prior to switching. Well, you were almost a bit frustrated with us, I believe. <laughs> well, not really, but uh, it just part of life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it just wasn't healing. It wasn't healing. It wasn't. It was getting to. worse. It was getting worse with the other types of dressings, and yes. that was foam and foam, alginates, curlix, and ABDs, and still soaking through. Usually, when you came in, the odor was extremely strong. Can right. you talk to us about the odor? What did you see about the odor when we switched you to an extra? I didn't notice it at all. Uh, but prior to switching to an extra, did you struggle with the odor? It was noticeable, yes. Okay. Yes, I, I remember a couple of times. Yeah, before the lecture, my, I changed socks, uh, I put clean socks on at 6.30 in the morning. By the time I got here at 8, my sock was wet on the outside. My sock was already short, soaking through. Going in your shoe as well, leaking. I yes. wasn't, wasn't running into my shoe. It just start, you know, soaking up. Mm -hmm. If I left it all day, or your pants, it would have. But I did have a time or two that it did go into the like under the tongue of my shoe. The, the drainage did before mm -hmm. the luxury. Okay, I'm trying to trace back our uh, star time here. Okay, and uh, just to. Hold on, just a second. So, I think it was November third. Is what I see that we started you on. So, mm -hmm. okay. it sounds familiar. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so November third, he his legs had gotten to its worst state. On November third, his legs were probably at the worst he's ever seen, and uh, we decided to do in Luxor and try that and he also had the opportunity to start on the Ultra. We have stepped them down to just the, the um, in Luxor, the regular in mm -hmm. Luxor. Mm -hmm. so. And then what we'll do on this is uh, we'll just get Dina in here. The thing about the in Luxor too that I noticed is sometimes with the slough that collects into the bandage extremely well uh, there's just hardly any really sharp debridement sometimes that we have to do. Oh, that's great. So it kind of eliminates some of the, I guess, painful areas that we have to do. There's been some patients that does, we're not really uh, able to debride due to the pain. So having to use in Luxor that kind of eliminates some of the slough for us makes their pain tolerance to wound care uh, quite uh, in a great improvement. So at this point I'm just going to basically let Dina come in if you don't mind and then she'll do the application of the right. dressings. Yes, but we'll show you the befores. This wound extended from here wrapped all the way around. He used to have such peri wound breakdown at every dressing that sometimes ran down into the lower mm -hmm. ankle areas. So I'll have her wash the leg off and she'll come in and, and uh, do the dressing application for you guys. <laughs> 